Hello lovelies. How do we know what we know? That's sort of the central question for me these days. And in this time of uh, such uncertainty as we're grappling in, in this world of ours with uh, recognition of generations and generations of oppression and uh, social unrest, um, pandemic, climate disruption, all the, all the stuff, <laughs> all the feels that we're all having, you know, as we try to make sense of things, as we try to find meaning. Um, this, this time in our collective world, this time of global uncertainty has also produced a whole bunch of uh, uh, seeking for meaning, some of it positive, some of it uh, quite toxic, ideologies being kind of more and more entrenched, things getting more and more divided. And those of us who are spiritual seekers of whatever ilk, <laughs> finding our ways through uh, old institutions, evolving new institutions, new practices, new rituals, new ways of coming together to find meaning, to anchor ourselves in a sense of what we know, what we can rely upon, um, developing and honing our ability, right, to trust uh, the evidence of our senses, to trust the thoughts emerging in our mind, to trust the images and emotions uh, bubbling up in the heart. For me, the tarot is a tool par excellence for getting clear on what we know and also on how we know, how we can rely on what we know. The tarot teaches us to trust our bodies, to trust our hearts, to trust our minds. Uh, and it also teaches us to question what we think we, we get, you know, so that we can grow, so that we can expand, so that our awareness can get bigger, more inclusive, so that more elements of our shadowy, unconscious impulses, that they, that they become something that is set forward into the light so that we can integrate, 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 pull together the things we've pushed aside of our experience, the things we've pushed down. We can pull it forward into our identities so that our identities become richer, more robust, more resilient. The tarot helps us do that. <laughs> So I'm very excited to announce here on YouTube, I've already announced it elsewhere, but uh, come September 4th and September 5th of 2021, I'm going to be holding the first ever online Mindful Tarot Retreat. It's eight hours online, a, a blend of, of learning and sharing and uh, also guided meditation, guided mindfulness practice, a little bit of instruction in mindfulness. Because mindfulness is simply the skill of opening up our awareness, seeing the things that we sometimes don't see, and finding the wisdom within to choose where to put our energies. When you bring mindfulness together with uh, study and clarification of the 78 cards of tarot, you get a really amazing toolbox for uh, self-transformation and for engaged and wise action in the world. Um, that's a lot to, to promise that the tarot and mindfulness can bring us, but in my, own, in my own practice, I've seen this borne out. So September 4th and 5th, uh, 9 to 12 Pacific Daylight Time on Saturday the 4th, and 8 to 1 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time on Sunday the 5th, um, I can't offer this for free because, uh, you know, I'm trying to figure out how to skillfully bring my, um, my thoughts into the world. Um, uh, but if you're interested, uh, please be in touch.